Hey guys, sorry I'm shooting this on my tablet today. Oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to get this to work. I don't have my phone with me today. Uh, going to the gym, it's like 6.40 in the morning. Uh, I went to bed kind of early last night, so I am uh, at Sonic grabbing some breakfast. I uh, I eat here like uh, one or two days a week, Not, nothing crazy. So, But uh, 6.40 in the morning, uh, it's just, the sun's starting to come up, but uh, I got my money today from Amazon, the eighteen thousand. So a lot of people, you know, when you when you when you don't have money and you get a bunch of money, it's different for me because I, you know, I have money and you get more money, and you don't really, you know, I, there's no reason for me to blow it. Like I said, because I don't, I have everything I need. So um, before I had the money, you know, before I didn't have the money, it's I still had money. So it's not like I needed to go blow it on, you know, I got to pay rent or I got this or that or you know already have plenty of money already so I'm not bragging or anything like that I want that I don't want to come across as me as bragging or anything it's just that uh, financially I'm okay with my day trading so um, you know when I think Greg one of the guys and I wants me to do a day trading video day trading is kind of complex due to the fact that you have to have a platform uh, I, I use the same platform anybody most traders use it's called ninja trader it's a platform and then you have to have what they call a real-time data analysis so uh, depends on what brokerage firm you use you know up-to-date uh, traded analysis uh, you're gonna use charts you gotta know how to use charts you gotta know you get you, get, you know you got different traders sorry I'm looking for the guy you got different traders you got what they call uh, technical traders which I am and they have what they call fundamental traders fundamental traders are basically the traders that trade off the uh, information on the news which is for me it's a bunch of crap I mean you'll get some price for you know price spikes and everything like that but I price it pretty much I learned this uh, in 19. I learned technical trading in 1989 when I was in the Navy. Uh, for my, I had my first broker was Ken Roberts. If you ever guys ever Google him, Ken Roberts, R O B E R T S. He was the top commodity guy back in the 90s. He was based out of Ojai, California, where I was stationed. And uh, Ken Roberts, um, yeah, the Twampum course. If you ever you guys ever. You know, maybe you can find his stuff on eBay. The best courses in the business out there. Uh, he's been he's hadn't been trading in probably ten years. He quit. Uh, he's got other people that do it now. I mean, but uh, the guy the guy was like back then. He was in the '60s already. So uh, the world's most powerful. What they call it? It was called the world's most powerful money manual. And he had an options course because basically when you're trading, uh, I'm going to tell you straight up. But when you're trading full contracts, you're going to have to have a lot of money. Uh, Say you want to trade gold, silver, platinum, palladium, coffee, OJ, feeder cattle, uh, corn, wheat, soybean, soybean meal, soybean oil. You're going to have to have so much money just to just to be able to get into that contract, okay? And then once you get into that contract, you're going to have to uh, maintain what they call margin. Uh, so you're talking thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Uh, I don't trade full contracts. I trade options, what they call options, which is, uh, to me, my my money is set in the price that I pay for the option. So basically, uh, say I buy a, what they call it. It's hard. I'm, I'm trying to give you like a, a crash course in like two minutes, okay? Uh, hold on to my side, guys, here. Sorry. Somebody shooting a video. No problem. <laughs> I'm popular on the internet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, Bacon croissant said it's not Uh You pay credit card? Yeah, I already did it, buddy. Uh, Hit the button and ask for the upper Appreciate it, babe. Thank you. But uh, sorry, guys, getting my order. Um, options, basically, you pay for the cost of the options. Say you want to get a, uh, say you think gold's going to go down. Uh, usually gold goes up as the economy goes, uh, goes bad. A lot of people use gold as a safe haven. So if the economy starts going in the crapper, which it probably will pretty soon, most of the economists I watch on C-SPAN and uh, CNNBC and everything, they think a major recession is right around the corner, probably 2017, so a major, another big recession. It comes in cycles and waves, so basically, uh, that's like like last time you saw what you were in a recession in 2008, gold was almost at $2,000 an ounce. Everybody goes into gold because they have no, they know where, nowhere else to put their money, so... Um, say you want to buy a gold option, you think it's going to go at, uh, you know, you know, up to 2000 Well, you get what they call a, you know, a call option, a call, call option means you want to, uh, you think the price is going to go higher. A put option is the price is going to go lower. Um, Scott Gall, I know he, he does day trading or res, res from Reezy Resale says he does day trading. He does, I think penny option, penny stocks, but it's the same philosophy, call and put options. And, um, uh, 
So basically, you're out of the price of the option. That's basically it. So say you think gold is going to go to two thousand dollars an ounce, okay? And you get a you know a call option for for nineteen nineteen ninety or whatever, whatever the price of the option is, okay? That call option could be worth you know say say it's so many it's so many you have to pay so many points per per point, okay? So say you're into it for eight hundred. Well, if that call if that price never gets to if that price never gets to um, two thousand dollars, you're only you're only at the cost of the option, eight hundred dollars. Um, but say you say you buy a uh, a gold contract, which is going to run you you know three or four thousand dollars just to get into that contract, and never reaches that amount, uh, you're still going to pay your in and out charge for your transaction fee. But you're going you basically tied up your money for that long. But say that option goes to two thousand dollars, and you paid eight hundred, and that option go is worth seven thousand dollars when it reaches two thousand you know you made your money the thing is uh, the options are a risk factor you're only into the option for the price of the money um the way i make my money is i i, I dabble with the commodities market still but i mainly trade everybody knows i mainly trade the s p 500 the mini the mini s p 500 um most day traders in the world are into it because it's very fluid and there's millions upon millions of, of orders every day. So say, there's there, you can I'll show you I'll, I'll do a, a graph uh, I'll do a, a screenshot one day of me trading. Okay, um, it's very fluid. You you can be in and out of positions in, in seconds. Uh, what you do is you you know you're what they call scalping. What I do is I scalp. So I could be in and out of forty or fifty trades in two hours. Uh, the way the system works. Um, you use your computer, you use your software, and you kind of know. I mean, basically, you, I mean, there's programs you can buy for you know a thousand dollars here, though, which is called a trend analysis. You can buy track line indicators, um, candlestick charts. You can buy all these things for your programs, but uh, I think it's a bunch of crap, basically. But I mean, you basically think the market's going to go up or down. So basically, um, and what I do is I look at all the pre the previous trend charts, and I look at uh what they call the trend is your friend, um, but I, I don't really base, I don't go with the main flow of people, I, I kind of do my own thing, um, but I, there's very rarely a day that I have a loss, uh, if I do it's small, uh, what you do is when you get into your options, you're going to have what they call a stop loss, which is a trading loss, <clears throat> so say you um, you think like today, you think, you know, I think uh, my computer's set for uh, making gains in the S&P 500, so I've, I've got my, my things set in and say, I'm into the S&P at a certain point, say, say I'm just going to hypothetically say, like, uh, just make up a number, say you're going to be in at 10, and, uh, you know, you, you have your tick set up, and it goes up, well, my stop loss is going to be, like, at 9.95 or something, so if it does reverse, I'm stopped out of that position, and I only lose maybe, you know, 50 or $100. If you have no stop loss at all, that thing could go down to six, six points and you owe a margin call. A margin call is when at the end of the day, your broker house calls you and says, hey, you have a margin call. You need to pay us $4,500. Would you like to do American Express or wire transfer? And if you don't maintain your margin call that day or the next day, they close your account. So uh, it's not something you want to dabble in unless you really plan on doing it full time or mainly, uh, you know, investigate and read a lot. I mean, I've read probably 20, 25 books on fundamental and, and technical trading in my time since 1989. And, uh, the best books are the, the, the people that, uh, that are, that are world known, uh, Ted Warren, one of the best guys I've ever read about Ted Warren. Uh, you know, I've not I've bought all these other courses on these guys, you know, technical traders and stuff like that. My, like I said, Ken Roberts, he's the, the guy I I, I've followed and, I bought every one of his courses back in the 90s, and I still have them today, and I still listen to them today. Even, I mean, they're on cassette tapes, and they're on VHS tapes. That's why I still have a VHS and a uh, DVD player. That, his VHS tapes, I haven't ever burned them to a CD. I need to just take them to Walmart and have them burn them to a CD. But um, they're old, antiquated, but they work. Uh, the way he talks about marking your charts, you know, uh, I still, you can get your charts, uh, you know, online. I still order mine uh, paper charts, the old paper charts that come in a tab, uh, like a tablet form, and you can mark on them. And what I do is I have marks on them, uh, trend trend lines. I put sticky notes on there of where I think it's going to go, in, and I update it daily. Uh, a lot of people do the computer now, but either way. But I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just talking about my day trading, so uh, I can get. I'm excited. Yeah, I always I could talk like that forever on day trading. Um, 
a lot of money involved, so don't, you know, it's kind of, you know, you may want to do something else until you get some money involved, because uh, I think just to open a, you know, open an account, depending on where you go, it's uh, at least $5,000, so, um, get ready to go to the gym, guys, I'm going to eat my breakfast, and then I'm going to do my hour of cardio, and today is uh, chest day, chest and shoulders, chest and traps, actually, today, so, you guys enjoy, I'm doing this on my tablet, so hopefully it's as good as the phone, I can't even see the screen, so I'm just talking into the back, back side of my tablet, okay? You guys, take care.